welcome back in this tutorial we are going to create the to do form again as a new component and we will see how we can use the watch property inside our main app to observe any changes in the data and accordingly react so it will give us a nice way of communication between two independent components so first off let me create a new component and yeah we will create the template as well This is going to be a form, so we will quickly create the form. I don't need the action. I'll do v on submit and then I'll also prevent the default and then we will call the function. Okay, so this is our markup and this is the method now let's quickly um, add it here this will basically tell you that yes we are using a component and the directive is to do add now where is it here I'll add after this okay let's run it and let's see if we can get the alert we do so the setup is done now what we are going to do is let me increase the size a bit so this is our main app right we have a data source where to do's are provided and these are two independent components so one is the to do items which is the listing and the second is the to do add now when a new entry is added this list needs to be updated it should know that yes a new item is added so it needs to push in a way which is there in our main app so what we will do is first send a property or you know send a blank object which we can say as need to do it is a blank object for now okay we will pass this to our add form okay like so and this is going to be an object so as we had seen in our last tutorial we need to add the semicolon okay and yeah so this will work I mean it's a, we are sending a blank object obviously um, but let's first create a blank object in our add component as well okay we will name this new temp to do okay and its basic definition will be what um, Let's see ID which is going to be null there will be a title which is for now empty and completed will be false okay this is the definition um, we need to add the comma okay so this to do add has a data property so now what I can do is in my text field for the form I can do view model equals temp to do dot title okay we come to a method this is getting called when you know the add button is clicked so at this point I can say oh before that we are passing new to do as a property so as we have seen 
we need to add this. This will tell view that this component will get a data attribute, right? Um, so yeah, that is done. Now here, we'll come to our add new to do method. We'll say, then this is clicked. So this dot <coughs> new to do equals this dot temp to do. And once that is done, just clear everything in that variable okay that seems um, pretty much there uh, let us confirm uh, once that you know we are coming here so console dot log okay. just to make sure that yes we are passing it here now yeah open the console as well Let us run it. Okay, I was here. So basically, what this means is, you know, as you can see, we have again emptied the new to do. So yeah, things were working. What we need to now trace is when the new to do in our main app is changing, we will inform the to do items component okay because the to do's which we are passing here is on a two way binding right so any change in data dot to do's will mean that the to do item will change automatically so to do that we will use watch sorry okay in that we can keep a watch on any of the data attribute which we have in our app right now or even in the component so I can do something like this okay it will receive two arguments new value old value okay now in this when once we get the new value what we will first let us check whether we are getting the you know watch or not so you will understand console.log new value okay let's just print it and do nothing else okay clear it out okay that is done I was here is working but which is this but our value is not added right that the reason is now once we have done this okay we are just passing the new to do as an attribute to the component but it is not a two-way binding okay so if I add this and then run all right so we are getting this which means now the watch is working we are able to trace whenever this new to do value is changing so then the things are becoming very simple we will just say this dot to do's dot push we will first add the id which for now we can keep something random so i will do okay and then the title will be new value the title and this we can keep it as false now I have done a mistake which you, know, you will see right now uh, that the V for loop is in the wrong place okay um let's scroll down again, again back to this here so my v4 is in the ul so what happens is the uls are getting created multiple times and that's the reason this gap is coming you know in between each to do item i'll just cut that and add it here let us run the app again and yes 
now everything will be fine okay so basically if we see in this tutorial what we have done is once we created a new component okay we are passing the data to that particular component in a different way now you know previously if you see uh, where is it this was a one-way binding okay I'm only passing the data to the component from our main app the to do items component itself is not changing too much in it okay uh, and in the add form we are doing it different because we have to do the sync because add form changes the data it is informing the main app again that you know there is some change in the data our main app is then keeping a watch on that variable it says okay we have there is a change in new to do uh, data and so what we will do is we will capture that and then based on that change we are pushing the new value into our to do's array which because of the one way binding is getting added in this particular list okay so yeah that's about it in this tutorial in the new video I will jump to implementing uh, Vue.js with Laravel so that you know those who are uh, using Laravel they can understand how is the workflow for Vue.js inside Elixir and yeah from there we will take it up thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and share the videos on social networks uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks